So anyway, um, but that my point is because I was in the army base in the morning and the afternoon and and the, and the afternoon used to go to touch, you know, to do the regular. Always, all day, every day, I was working out. That helped me. Plus, Hadimi and I was over there, and a couple of other guys too. They helped me too. You know, I, I just asked them more technique, check me, check me, check me, and then this way, everything was perfect. And then I, I, I used everybody to, to for myself to get to that point. So after that, you know, now I'm well known to Master Mirza. You know, now any any new opportunity comes he asked me you want to come you know i have a base you know at the other places too and i have to teach i need the help i always volunteer always so and then we started in the university of university of army too we had a new the taekwondo is out out of there karate is out of there so all personnel you know few thousand students the new students the country's future officer working kind food. Each class I remember started with more than 300 students in the army base, in the University of Army. Anyway, I went over there to help him too. And then that time I had more experience, right? So sometimes my means I didn't show up either. So I was the one do not doing the and I remember you know I was very young and those officers, you know, the future officers, they were all older than me. But it's still you know because of power of Master Mirza, it gave me so much power. I could give them order, you know, what to do, what to not to do. Anyway, and this helped me again, you know, the teaching, teaching, anytime, any, you, anytime you teach, you get more experience, you know, and then you realize it where you have a problem in your technique. Because you review your technique in the class day by day, day by day, and then you will see how to explain it, and you find a way to explain, to make it easier, for the other person to learn it, you get experience, and this helps you to make it technique in a proper way too. Anyway, so these things help me to, to develop my experience myself too. And then, by the way, day by day, I'm getting closer to Master Mirza. Unfortunately, at that time, uh, Mr. Mardi, Hossein Mardi, one of the perfect, perfect. Uh, people in the Kung Fu I have ever seen from the technique wise, you know, the perfect man, very good man, he left. For any reason, I don't know what reason was it, but anyway, he left. He was the first uh, uh, color sash from Mar Master Mirza he got. And then Hadim Inai he got his place. The, the thing is, you know, Master Mirza used to work with the one person, with the one person technique, correct it with him, and then that person goes to the senior uh, students or senior masters who is helping Master Mirza for other classes in the army or out of the army, and then teach them. And then this way, those people teach the classes, you know, you know they spread the technique like this. But always Master Mirza, and then one person working with him. That time was Jose Mardi. He left. Hadi became, you know, the first, you know, student of him. And uh, Hadi was like a computer. You know, the Master Mirza gave the technique right away. Hadi got it. You know, even Master Mirza, I have heard, you know, m maybe more than 10 times. He said, Hadi is like a computer. Whatever I say, right away he gets. He gets the technique. And he gives it back to me. This way, you know, the, the developing of the, the techniques or um, how, how, how the technique making better and better. As I said, you know, our techniques in the, in the beginning was close to uh, Gujorio and kind of karate. But day by day and then time to time, they changed it and they made it you know, more tower way we have it today. After Hadi Min I left, there was a guy, Kamran Bahri. He was top of me. He was better than me. And there was another guy, Masud Borhani. 
he was top of me, he was better than me, he had uh, more experience than me, but none of these guys was helping, teaching. They were good uh, coin foca, but they couldn't teach properly. You know what I mean? They couldn't, uh, let, uh, let's say it this way, they couldn't teach like me. I had lots of teaching experience because any day in the morning I was with the master going to the different army, army bases and then in, even in the afternoon in the public, his public classes, I used to have my own class to teach too, to help him. So this way, uh, after Hadi Minai left, he chose me, even Reza Aghiri, you know, who, who passed away, uh, he was ahead of me. Uh, he had more experience than me in the coin for voice, but he didn't have that much, again, the teaching experience. So, Master Mirza, you know, chose me to, to work with him for the, for the following the technique. Um, that time, how did you know he finished the, the head of the snake techniques? But the snake techniques didn't finish yet. <clears throat> he just knew the head. And also, Hadi Minai got the Rikema. So I learned snake head and the Rikema from Hadi Minai. And then, head of the skin, you know, I mean snake. And then, after he left, I started to work with, with Master Mirza. He started to give me the tail of the snake, the technique. And also after that he started to give me sigh. And then when when I got sigh he he used to I train I used to train with himself, with the with the Master Mirza himself. And then one day he had a sword with the Rikema and I, I was with Sai. Real fighting, you know, real, he was hitting very bad. I had to defend myself. Or sometimes we changed. You know, he said, you know, okay, you attack me with the sword and then you know I defend. He, he taught me how to work with the Sai and uh, Rikema in the actual fighting. So.